Hey, Jason from Theme Punch here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can edit content, styles, fonts, things like that. And we'll also cover some of the things that you might encounter when you first edit one of our templates. So let's go ahead and import a template from the template library. I've already marked one as a favorite here, creative front page. And let's enter the editor. I'm going to go full screen here on my monitor. And let's just preview this template just so you can get an idea of how it works. So here at the top, I have a menu with four items. Toward the right, I have bullet navigation. I have some global layers here toward the bottom. I also have uh, some custom navigation here with this arrow. I have a logo that's also a global layer. And then there's also some hidden slides in this slider. And they're triggered by user actions. And I'll show you how those work. But just as an example, if I click here, who am I? This is technically a hidden slide. And what that means is it doesn't appear in the regular navigation. So I'll show you how that works. And let's go ahead and edit some content. So the first thing you may want to edit is this header right here, Hello World. So if you just select that on the stage, it will immediately bring up the content section for that layer. And the text is right here, Hello World. Then if I want to change the color of the text, I can go into Style, select Text Color. You can see I can just change it right here. I can exit out without actually changing it. I can change the font family here, the font size. And another thing that's really cool is I can click this quick style editor right here. And I can choose something that's predefined. So for example, I can choose this font right here and just kind of changes really easily that way. So I'm just going to undo that change. And now what if I wanted to add a background color to this header here? Maybe black with 35% opacity. Could do that. And then over in advanced style, I could add a text shadow if I wanted. And we could actually create some knockout text here with the blend mode. I can choose multiply. And I'm just going to save this and preview it so you can see what that would look like. And you can see it's a nice cool knockout effect here. And then if I want to resize this layer, I can actually just drag right here. Just like this, really easy. And of course, I can drag it around the stage if I want to reposition it or I can manually position it right here from size and position. And I'm just going to go ahead and undo these changes just to get back where we started from here. Okay, so let's explore these buttons right here. So the first one, if I click it, it's basically just a regular text layer, but it appears as a button because we have some extra line height right here for this. And then also if you scroll down, we have some padding on the right and left. And that just gives it this padding around the layer and then with a background, it appears as a button. And then for the hover, if we just click right up here, hover, and we scroll down a bit, you can see that we have a different color applied for the background on mouse hover. And that's how we just get this nice hover right here. So let's take a look at how this slide would appear on different devices. Right up here I can change the device view. And if I click notebook, tablet, you can see right down to tablet and then mobile, the position of the text changes. It's centered now. And the font size also changes. So I could adjust this manually if I wanted per device. Basically if I wanted to just bump this text size up just for the mobile device, I would do it here and then that would not affect the other device views for the layer. So if you remember when we previewed the template, we had some global content right here. So let's explore that real quick. That's right here under slides. 
I go to global layers. So content in this section is basically content that will appear on top of all slides. So it's a good place to add a logo or a custom menu, maybe some social links. And actually we have those down here, Facebook, Twitter, Google. Uh, as you can see right now, because this content is white with a transparent background, it's actually a little bit difficult to see. So I'm going to head over to this section right here in the right panel for slide. And then I'm going to click show last edited slide right here. And this just basically shows me how these global layers would look against the first slide, which is the last slide that we were working with. So global layers are just like regular layers for your slides, except they have this one special option right here in static. So I'm just going to select this logo and then I can choose when I want this layer to appear and when it should disappear. So by default, it will appear on the first slide and remain throughout the slider up until the last slide. But I can modify this and choose a specific slide if I wanted. And this logo is actually just a few simple text layers and a line. So down toward the bottom, this letter R can be edited right here. The letter S right here. Here's the line. So if I wanted to replace this, I could go ahead and select each layer and then delete it right here and I could delete the letters as well. And then I could just maybe add my own logo, choose image, WordPress library. Maybe I have a logo that I uploaded previously. So next toward the top, we have this menu and this just changes to specific slides. So I'll show you how this works. But first, if we hover, you can see it has a strike through and that is applied over here in hover. If we just scroll down, right here, line through. And then the way these are connected to change the slides is through actions. So it's right up here inside actions. And it just has a simple jump to slide action. And it's jumping to hello world. So I could choose any specific slide. And I'm just going to delete this and show you how it can be applied if you were designing your own custom menu. So go ahead and select the layer, choose actions, under slide actions, jump to slide, and then choose the slide you want to go to. And lastly, for this global layer section toward the bottom, and by the way, I'm just scrolling with my mouse wheel here to get to the bottom. We have a custom navigation arrow and we click actions for this. This will always just go to the next slide. So let's delete that and reapply it so I can show you how it was done. Go to actions, just click next slide and that's it. And then here for Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, let's see Facebook, actions, click simple link and I can put in my own Facebook page here and We'll do the same as we did before, reapply it. Under link actions, simple link. And then click the X button and that's how you apply a simple link to any layer. So let's head back to the first slide and this background here, which has a gentleman wearing a backpack. We head over to the slide menu inside background. I can choose media library and I can switch it to something that I have uploaded. Or I can choose object library. And here you have some royalty free images that you can use for any of your sliders. So I can also change it to a video, a color. Maybe I want to change it to a gradient. But I think that the image there looks best. So let's go ahead and change it back there. Yeah. All right, so if you remember before, this button here loaded a hidden slide. And the way that works is it has an action that is jumping to a slide, hello world detail. And then, so if we head up to slides here and we click hello world detail, this is a slide that's not actually in the regular navigation. 
So for example, if I were to click Preview, and I were to just cycle through the regular navigation here, it wouldn't be included. It's only shown when I click this button. And the way that works is if I head over here to Slide, and then I go to Progress, for Visibility, I can choose Hidden in Navigation. So that just makes it so this slide can only appear on some type of user action that I've set up. And then for this special slide, it has a back button with an action. Jump to slide, it just goes right back to the Hello World slide. And as you work with templates, if you want to delete a slide, simply head up to the Slides menu and select the trash icon for any given slide. You can add a new slide right here. You can choose blank slide. You can choose slide from template and import a slide from one of the templates. Or it might be easiest to just duplicate one of the slides you like from the template. So just hover over the slide you like and click this duplicate icon. And lastly is the navigation. So we have our bullets here. I could change the style if I wanted to. I could reposition them. For example, maybe I want them to be centered. And I can also choose its visibility. So for example, maybe I want it to always be visible or maybe I want to hide it under a certain screen width. And then I can also go ahead and change the colors. The bullet color here, we could make it yellow if we wanted. And I could also activate traditional arrows. Maybe I want thumbnails. Could enable those. You see toward the bottom we have some very nice thumbnails now. And that's about it for this template. I'm going to make a few more videos for our exciting release of 6.0. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.